This is part one. So today we'll focus primarily on um, a variety of different retaining wall systems, how you um, uh, select which one is best uh, for your project, and then some of the basic uh, design criteria and design methods for those walls. And then part two, for those of you who signed up for that, will happen uh, a couple days uh, from now on Thursday, and that will go into a lot more detail focused on cast-in-place concrete retaining walls um, and go through some design examples. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and start part one. Um, as Maria mentioned, there'll be, it's split into three parts. There'll be um, breaks which separating them and Q&A sessions um, following each of the three parts. So basic objectives, um, learn about all the variety of different retaining wall systems that are out there. Learn how to best uh, select the best option for your project. Um, learn the best uh, standards um, for designing them. And I'll also talk a little bit about some basic um, seismic design principles <clears throat> that apply to retaining walls. All right, so retaining wall systems, what are the options that are out there? So in, for the purposes of this webinar, I've basically divided them up into two basic categories of fill walls, where you're filling soil in behind the wall and cut walls where you're installing the wall into the ground and then cutting soil or removing soil from in front of it. All right, so common fill wall types. So what I've done for each of the categories of fill walls and cut walls is I've divided them up into what I call common systems that are pretty commonly used in the industry. And I focus most of my discussion on those, but I've, I will also at least familiarize you with a variety of other systems of fill walls and cut walls that are sometimes used in certain circumstances and that you may encounter and that may be a good application for your project just so that you're at least aware of them. So for the fill walls, what I'm calling the common systems that I'll devote most of my attention to are cast-in-place concrete retaining walls and then um, three other walls types that are all sort of in this category of proprietary systems that are provided by companies that specialize in, in manufacturing and then sometimes, depending on the company, also designing those proprietary systems. And those are mechanically stabilized earth wall systems, or MSC as they're commonly known, proprietary concrete crib walls, which um, have a lot of similarities to MSC, and then also proprietary concrete gravity block walls also have a lot of similar to STEMSC. So examples, this is a typical section through uh, schematically through a concrete cantilevered retaining wall. <clears throat> Here is a kind of a schematic cross section through an MSC wall where it has a facing, has a facing, it has a zone of reinforced soil with horizontal layers of reinforcing behind it and then um, conventional backfill behind that. Proprietary concrete crib walls, which um, rely on the, the mass of the concrete as well as the fill that goes inside of the voids uh, of the units for stability. And then concrete gravity walls, which are similar to concrete crib walls, except that instead of having voids inside of cells for soil fill, they just are solid concrete units that rely on their own mass uh, when stacked up for stability, although sometimes they are used, as is shown here in this um, section on the right, sometimes they are used in conjunction with horizontal reinforcing layers similar to conventional MSE, so they become a sort of a hybrid system. Then for fill walls, some of the less common types that you may run into, um, I will show you pictures of each of these on the following slides. The um, cast-in-place or, or, or precast concrete gravity walls, sometimes used in transportation projects as du double duty, both as a barrier and to retain relatively short heights of soil behind. Um, sometimes you'll see these on older projects where they actually built really big versions of these. Uh, it's less common these days. <clears throat> Uh, precast concrete modular walls, which bear a lot of similarities to MSC and concrete curb walls, but are just not quite as common. Uh, re uh, reinforced concrete masonry unit T walls, which are similar to concrete walls, except that they are uh, masonry wall on a concrete footing. 
Gabion walls that uh, again rely on their own mass, kind of similar to a, a, a concrete block wall, uh, but in this case they're cages filled with the rocks. Ecology block walls, which basically, rather than a proprietary system, they're just um, using um, readily available ecology blocks that you can obtain from anywhere. Um, they're kind of a low-tech version of a concrete block uh, gravity wall. Geosynthetic walls, which are similar to MSE, except that they're not proprietary. They use just conventional geosynthetic wrapped in layers, as is shown um, on that diagram, or that cross-section on the right. Sometimes if they're temporary, they're just left as shown in the picture on the left. If they're permanent, you can put a concrete facing on them. 